Hello and welcome to the episode 318 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today, among other things, we'll cover the end of yet another Hamburg residency, a special appearance on TV, and a commercial, non-commercial release in 1969. For all the talk of bad feelings between the Beatles and Kaiser Keller's owner Bruno Koschmeider, the five Ps, featuring John Lennon, Paul McCartney and George Harrison on guitar and voice, Stu Sutcliffe from bass and Pete Best on drums, kept on performing at the club with the night, the 14th of November 1960, marking the 42nd straight evening of their residence in Hamburg, West Germany. One year later, in 1961, having turned to a quartet with Paul McCartney taking on bass duties, the Beatles had two engagements in the same night, both in Liverpool. The first was the second Tuesday residency at the Merseyside Civil Service Club. The second was an evening appearance at the Cavern Club, in support of the Blue Jeans, along with Jerry and the Pacemakers and the Remo Four. In 1962, the Beatles, now with Ringo Starr on drums, performed alone and as Little Richard's backing group at the Star Club in Hamburg. This was the end of their second 1962 residency at the venue, started on the 1st of November as we saw in episode 305. On the 14th of November 1963, the Beatles' Autumn Tour reached the ABC Cinema in Exeter, where the band performed two concerts for the evening. On this date in 1964, instead, the Fabs were at the ABC Television's Teddington Studio Center in Teddington to film their appearance during the season finale of Thank Your Lucky Stars, to be aired between 5.50 and 6.35 p.m on the 21st of November. The band mimed the performance of I Feel Fine, She's a Woman, I'm a Loser and Rock and Roll Music, as well as a comedy sketch introducing show host Brian Matthew during the beginning of the show, and another to be shown before the commercial break. Another day of work on the Magical Mystery Tour film in 1967, with the editing team at work as usual at Norman's Film Productions. Let's round things up with two 1969 events. On the 14th of November of that year, Wedding Album, the third album of experimental music by John Lennon and Yoko Ono, came out in UK. The album was released in a lavish box set, with a copy of the marriage certificate a booklet with press cuttings, a picture of a wedding cake, several photographs of the newlywed, and other props. The wedding album didn't do too well in the sales department, but, I guess, that was not the point of its release. And before moving forward with the last story of the day, allow me to remind you to give a look at www.simonmas.com support to see what you can do to support this podcast and my other music-related contents. And to learn how to acquire the deluxe version of What A Fab Day with hours of extra content. Thank you! Also on this date, but starting at 4pm, Ringo Starr overdubbed his vocal part on Stardust during a session at the Trident Studios in London. The Sentimental Journey date continued with the recording of the orchestral track of Dream, arranged by George Martin. The end time of the session wasn't noted. This leads me to the conclusion of this episode. I hope to see you tomorrow for another round of Beatles history and lore. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas! Music you love